loud then. I apologise. Welcome to another episode, not just another episode, the season finale episode of the Bottom of the Stream movie show. My name is Adam. My name's Nick. Welcome on board. Season six finale now. I know. Wow. What's happening? The stream boat is being attacked from above. Yeah. By, by flying primates. Fl- flying primates, indeed. As this week, for the season finale of Bottom of the Stream season six, we have watched a film called Flying Monkeys. Flying Monkeys was released in 2013. It is currently not rated in the UK. Runs for one hour and 26 minutes and is currently rated at 3.6 out of 10 on IMDb. Okay. 3.6. It's the higher end of a B-movie. It's more than Sharknado. I think that's... <laughs> I, I, I'll put it out there. I had more fun than a 3.6 movie, I think. I think that's fair. I think we're, we're going to have a lot of fun with this episode, I think. Yeah. These, these sort of films... Compared these... to other... Movies we've seen with that sort of IMDb yeah. score. These sort of movies, these like low budget creature features, that's kind of our bread and butter. This is where we all, this is where this whole thing came from. Yeah. Isn't it? This is, we used to get together around your house every other week or so and watch movies like this. But some of them were absolute pony. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Much worse than this. Yeah. So we'll see. Let's see where we, where we end up with it. Uh, this film... Stars a lady called Micah Monroe. She plays a character called Joan. Micah Monroe, this is her third appearance on this show. Yes. She was in Tau. She was. Which we didn't really like. But we quite liked her. But we liked her in it. Yeah, we thought she did a good job with the material. Yes. She's also in Villains, which we both really liked. It was an excellent time. To the point where it won season five of Bottom of the Stream. Our last winner. And it may well feature in a couple of weeks' time. At our Botsker Awards. It may well. You never know. Can't wait for the Botskers. So listen out for that. I'm well excited. Uh, more mainstream stuff she's done. She was in It Follows, which is one of the best horror films of recent years. And she was also in Independence Day Resurgence. Okay. One of the worst films of recent <laughs> years. Um, have you seen It Follows? No, I never have. Oh, it's great. I think it's on Netflix. You should okay. check it out. It's great. It's a really good horror film. It's about a ghost that just follows you around. Sure. You can't get rid of it unless you pass it on to somebody else. Um, also stars a guy called Vincent Ventr- Ventresca. He plays a character called James, who is Joan's dad. Solid name, Vincent Van Trusca. <laughs> Most famous, he was in Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. Oh, right. <laughs> um, but also, between the years of 2000 and 2002, he was in a sci-fi TV sh- production of The Invisible Man. He oh, was lovely. the main character. He played The Invisible Man. Lovely. For 48 episodes, I think, of that. Uh, I never saw him. <laughs> um, also stars Michael Papajohn. Uh, another excellent name. <laughs> Papa John is his uh, surname. What a great name. I bet he loves pizza. Um, he plays the sheriff in this film. He has 124 acting credits on IMDb. Definitely a More face. More than Boo Definitely a face that I thought, I've seen you in exactly this sort of movie before. Somewhere. He's been in loads of this sort of movies. He's pretty much every, small roles in pretty much every TV show that's ever been made. He's he's one of these guys that just is a jobbing actor. Yeah. He's never really had a main starring role, but he just works constantly. Um, finally, this film stars Electra Avalan. Wow. <laughs> You've got to love the names in this film, right? She plays Sonia, who is Joan's best friend in this film. So it's where Ad- Eddie Grant kept going down to, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a great joke. Um, she plays Sonia, who is uh, Joan's best friend in this film. She, do you want to know four films that she's been in? No, I don't, but I would like to. <laughs> if I want, I'm going to give you these names of these four films, and then I want you to guess who she is. Right. She is in Planet Terror and Death Proof, which are the two Grindhouse films. Yeah. She's also in Machete and Machete Kills. Is she (laughs) either related to or doing something naughty with Robert Rodriguez? (laughs) I hope she's not doing anything naughty with him. She's his (laughs) niece-in-law. Okay, there you go. (laughs) She's the niece of Robert Rodriguez's wife. Um, Yeah, she was in all four of those films. And now this. Um... This film was directed by a guy called Robert Grasmere. This is his only directing credit on IMDb. Travesty. Travesty indeed. But he is a visual effects artist. He's okay. done visual effects on some of the biggest movies of recent times. Um, he did the visual effects on, um, remember The Core? I do, yeah. That, The Mothman Prophecies, The right. Bone Collector, The Saint, um, loads of, lo- literally loads of toys. Demolition Man, Patriot Games, oh, Predi- wow. Predator 2, The Running Man. Yeah, he was also the sec- uh, second unit director for all of those films. Oh, brilliant. So he's he's got directing experience. He's just only ever had one directing credit, and that is this film. 
Now this, the writing team on this film, I want to talk to you about. Oh please, this is this film was credited as being written by Silvero Gores. Right, Silvero Gores doesn't exist. Oh lovely, so I, I, this happens quite a it bit, does. doesn't it, with these movies? Um, there's a writing duo, right? Chad, Chad and Evan Law, they're brothers. Chad Law has written a film we've done before. Oh, amazing. <laughs> um, Chad Law wrote Blackwater. Oh, nice. With Robert... Um, Rob Van Damme. Rob Van, Rob Van Damme. <laughs> John Rob Claude Van Damme. Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> and Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> yeah, but they um, they don't want credit on this one. Because okay. they, they, they credited us Silvero Gores. Um, yeah, I thought it was really interesting that a film like this, we've already watched a film that one of them's written. Yeah. Fascinating. Small, small world. Small world indeed. Small industry. Yeah, absolutely. Got one word review? Monkey see, monkey do rip your throat out. <laughs> They're quite violent, these monkeys. Yeah, they are. Or this monkey, monkey. Monkai? Monkai. <laughs> Where does this film start, Nick? Uh, on a plane with a depressed pilot. I thought your um, one word review was going to be monkeys on a plane, <laughs> but it wasn't. Yeah, the, the pilot's not very happy. This guy is like, oh man, I can't believe my life has come to flying this plane full of smuggled animals illegally into America. They're basically, yeah, they're basically illegally smuggling two people, aren't they? Basically illegally smuggling animals. We get all the set up in the dialogue. Yeah. Uh, And then there's a noise from... Of course there is. Behind. (laughs) Down in the uh, cargo bay. Every film like this has a pre-credits intro, like, set up, doesn't it? I'm not saying this movie is lazy or racist. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to say that. <laughs> okay. Because these two Asian pilots yep. are called Lee and Wang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's unfortunate, but it's true. So minus points to this movie for that. So far, not a good start. Um, there's a sound. They, they hear a sound of an animal that appears to have gotten loose in the back of the plane. One of the dudes goes to investigate. Was that Wang or Lee? Uh, it's Lee. Lee, okay. Um, and then this film hides you from nothing. We're less than a minute into this film and we already see a flying monkey. There's the monster. It's just sitting Straight there, in. perching on top of a cage. N- not Nicholas Cage, <laughs> just an actual cage. It seems to have already devoured Everything all the else. other animals. <laughs> all the other animals in there. Uh, yeah, it doesn't hide it behind its bushel. This is like, yeah, here's your flying monkey. First scene. Have it. Um, uh, and and Lee, then it eats, Lee gets killed to death. It's Lee, yeah. What did you think of the flying monkey? What? Because, as in the effect? Yeah, because this, this is quite an old. This is how old do we say this film is? Nine now? years. Nine years old. Two thousand thirteen. It's not a terrible effect. No, it's not. Again, it's not. We've watched a lot of these sort of films now, either for the show or predating the yeah. show, and all in all. The effects, the visual effects for these flying monkeys. Do you know what? It was all right. It wasn't bad. It's definitely it is CGI. It's They're, nine years old. Yeah, and it was still all, all right. right. Yeah, it, it is CGI. There are some practical in there somewhere, but it, it, it is mostly CGI. But it didn't look too bad. Wang comes steaming in. <laughs> it's a shame it didn't eat Wang. <laughs> yeah, the other guy goes to look. He puts the plane on autopilot. It's a very small plane. I'm not 100 percent sure I'd have autopilot. No, me neither. Hey ho. Um, and he gets chased back to the cockpit by yes, the flying monkey. But Wang manages to get back in the cockpit. Yeah, he uh, stores himself away and manages to complete the flight. Uh, then we head straight to our title card. We do. A small credit sequence, and we are now in rural America, Kansas. That's how I would describe it. Gale, Kansas. Is that where we are? Yeah. Population uh, five thousand one hundred twenty-four. I would, didn't want to get to this, but where the fuck are all the people in this film? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is. This town is deserted. Yeah. It does stand out a little bit. There's literally nobody there. Yeah, sure. And it's, it is it is a real unfortunate thing. can't moment. afford the extra. Yeah, it, it does stand out a little bit. I've written it down later on. Also, it just has a school and a house. And a gas oh, station. Oh, and a gas station. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. And a police station. Um, well, I mean, Yeah, but I don't, I don't think we see the police station from outside. Anyway. No, I don't think we do. So we start at the gas station. A man in the, tra- a man in the tractor pulls up at a gas station and... Get, there's a, maybe another negative point here. There's a really creepy gas man. Yeah, he is creepy. Because <laughs> he, uh, he's pouring gas. The tractor gas. guy is pretty creepy. As well. It's two yeah. creepy old guys. But it was the line. The, he has a line here. Where he's, he's putting gas in this tractor for this dude. And this cl- um, car full of high school girls goes past. Yeah. Like screaming out the window. 
and his I've written his line down. He says, "Gotta love high school girls. We keep getting older, but they stay the same yeah. age." This gas station guy Creeping. is like seventy. He's not to be trusted because the farmer turns up and the gas station guy goes, "Oh, shall I fill her up?" And the farmer says, "Not at your prices. You're a rip-off merchant. <laughs> Put twenty bucks in." And then, yeah, the gas station guy dude is like horny over all these girls <laughs> that all these come past. Cool high school girls. Yeah, it was it was a little bit like mm, creepy. Like he's, I don't know. I think you're being uh, you might be generous. I reckon he's eighty if he's a day. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, and then we go to a high school. We go to there's a graduation ceremony going on at the it, high school. It is. Um, our main character who we meet now is called Joan. Is she the one who's doing the speech? I think she is. No. Nope. Okay. So Joan is sitting next to another two horny yeah. guys. Yes. Oh, every, all the men are horny in this film. Yeah. There's a lot of horniness going on. Uh, the speech giver is Chastity. Oh yes. Of course who I is. presume Sorry. is like valedictorian yeah. or head girl or something. Yeah. And the two horny guys in the crowd are talking about. Well, one of them really wants to get with Chastity. Yeah, the other one's Joan's boyfriend. Correct. Yeah. Uh, but it turns out Chastity's dad is the sheriff. Yeah. So she's a bit off difficult. Off limits. <laughs> yeah. She's off limits. Um, we cut at this point again to the Joan's dad. Now he's trying to get to this graduation. It's the first time we meet James. Stuck behind the tractor. But he's stuck behind the tractor that we met earlier. D- he can't get there. In There's time. no people in this town. No. There's a there's this there's a traffic, there's a traffic jam. jam of about twelve cars. <laughs> yeah, behind this tractor, and he's trying to get past to get to the graduation, um, but he doesn't get there. He misses the whole ceremony. He arrives just as the hats are being chucked. Yeah, um, and is I I liked it. I was this might have been when I started to get on board with this movie because he he arrives, gets out of the car, runs over to Joan, his daughter, and says, "I missed it, didn't I?" <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did, mate. Um. We cut back to the pilot. He's now landed this plane. The monkey plane touches monkey down. Plane touches down. Um, and I've written here, a fog turns up to buy the monkeys. Um, basically, a fog, a big old guy, his name was Rudy. It was. He turns out he owned a pet, stop, pet shop in town, which is also another place in this town. It's big enough to have a pet shop. Um, the pet shop was technically in a different town. but Okay, okay. fair enough. It Fuck was. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... Obviously, Wang is losing his shit at Rudy, like this crazy ass monkey. Yeah, Wang's plane. gone off. He's like, Lee's dead. He's, he's trying to explain to Rudy what's happened. Rudy's having none of it. Yeah, Rudy's like, where the fuck, where are, the, my mon- where where the fuck are my animals? Where are my, why is there only one little monkey yeah. on this plane? And Wang's like, the monkey ate the animals. <laughs> yeah. But this is monkey- a tiny little yes, friend it, it, style we, monkey. We have now turned into uh, a normal, just little monkey. Yeah. Little- it's the same monkey from France. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same monkey, but it's the same <laughs> breed of monkey. Um, and Rudy's like, right, you've got one week. You've got five. I was over really animals. confused by this <laughs> bit of dialogue because Rudy, Rudy, quite rightly, is like, where the hell is my plane full of animals? Yes. And then I, I just, I think he tells Wang, you've got a week to go back to Hong Kong. Yeah. Get me a load more animals and yeah. bring them back. Yeah. That's but, exactly what he did. Or pay me the money for them. Yeah. Even though there is a dead man in the back of this plane, yeah, which he can clear, he climbs over at one point. Yeah, it's um, it's a strange one, isn't it? I There's mean, some strange dialogue choices in this film. Yeah, there really. If is. I was Wang, I'd be just like, I'm turning around, I'll just fill it with cats. Yeah, there's loads of stray cats. I'll just go back to Hong Kong and yeah. never come back again. It's fine. Um, but so, but really, takes his monkey, his new monkey friend, his pet, takes it back to his pet shop. I mean, it bites him on the finger. Um, so he's a little bit annoyed at this monkey. Yeah, and he and and. Yeah, Rudy goes to spank the monkey because it bit him. Yeah. Uh, we cut them back to Joan and James back at their house. Oh, you missed a really quick scene where okay. Joan is, uh, turns out she works at a vet's. She's oh, like yes. A, she's an animal lover. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I guess she's like the Saturday girl. Yeah. Because uh, she's not going to the graduation party because she talks to her friend. Yes, that's true. She's not. Um, she's also still really pissed at her dad. And she hits him with a real burn. Oh, she absolutely mugs him off. She really does a horrible line. She says, um, Mum wouldn't have missed it. Yeah. Mum's dead. And then she says, When she died, yeah. I lost both of you. Yeah. I didn't think I'd lose both of you. I was like, Wow. I was like, That's pretty good writing for this level mm. of movie. I agree. I mean, he did miss her high school graduation. That only happens once in her lifetime. Exactly. It's, it's, you can understand Get her being shit annoyed together. by it. Yeah. Um, Rudy walks back into his pet shop and all of the animals in the whole pet shop are now dead. Little Marceau. Yeah. Marcel. 
He's just sitting there, licking his lips. He was covered in blood. Yeah. He's eating all the animals. While we're in the pet shop, James walks in, Jane's dad. Yeah. He's like, I need to get a present for my daughter. I need to win my daughter back and she likes animals. So Rudy's like, I've got this monkey. Yeah. Do you want to buy a monkey? Dude, you're interested in a monkey? Um, Next time we see him, he's getting at home. He's got a cage covered in brown wrapping paper. He's brought her a fucking monkey. She's quite confused. She's very confused. She's like, oh, right. I wasn't expecting thanks, this. Thanks, Dad. How do I look after, look after a monkey? A monkey? Uh, yeah. Uh, but she, she's very happy. She does forgive her dad for... Her dad literally says, I bought doing. you a monkey. Are you still mad about the graduation? It's <laughs> <laughs> literally buying her a thing. <laughs> and, and Jay says, well, yes, I am. But, but thanks for the monkey. Thanks for the monkey. The monkey's cool as fuck. <laughs> I'd like... I think I'd be the type of guy that'd have a pet monkey. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, but you know when ho- that episode of The Simpsons when Homer gets a help monkey and it just gets fat and eats all the peanuts. And <laughs> wow. <laughs> <you'd>, <laughs> I reckon. I'm really offended by that. <laughs> but you could say you could forget about that Netflix show where you send your kids down the shops. You send, you send your monkey, monkey down, down to. Do you think I'm quirky enough to have a monkey? If I you d- say I yes, I'm going to buy one. <laughs> I think that getting a monkey would push you over the edge to ex- quirkiness yeah you'd be I'd you'd be... have to put it on a lead and take it for walks and people around town would know you as the monkey guy. but if that's the guy who owns the monkey yeah okay i'm giving this some serious consideration <laughs> I'd, I'd want to be famous for something and at night you could sit with a pizza and a magnum <laughs> watching a movie on netflix yeah and your monkey could just be on your shoulder grooming you yeah i'm happy with that yeah do it. Sounds like a good life to me. Me too. I've seen this film now, though. Doesn't end well, does well, it? Don't get one of these. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not going to get like a baboon or an orangutan, am I? <laughs> I mean, don't get I'm a getting a monkey. Monkey. I'm getting one of these kind yeah. of monkeys. Um, oh, fuck me. Yeah, don't get a gorilla. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't think my garden's big enough. Um, anyway, we're going off topic. Um, she takes him out of the cage. She go, they go back in the house. James says, do you want me to bring the cage inside? She says, no, I never want to put him in a cage again. Um, and then she introduces her boyfriend to it. Jason comes over. Uh, not quite. You missed a bit. I haven't missed much. So, well, it's quite important. You've okay. missed what the monkey is going to be called. Oh, okay. And I, and as much as I've quite enjoyed this movie so far, and and I kind of like Joan. Yeah. I do not rate her skills of naming animals. The same. It's boring, isn't it? Think of all the great names you could have come up with when you're doing a monkey character. Yeah. Like I don't know, Pumpernickel. <laughs> right. She goes with Skippy. Which is a kangaroo's name. Yeah. Monkeys don't even skip. They don't. Clearly gallop. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, she calls Dad says, I'll tell you what we'll do to celebrate since you're not going to graduation party. We're having a cookout. Yeah. And dr- bring and your monkey. And bring your monkey and invite your boyfriend. Yeah. That's what he says. So she does. So Jason comes over. Jason's a strange name. I, don't know. I think Jason's a name, one of those names. Yeah. Where I think I'm going to offend somebody here. You do, I wouldn't trust anybody called Jason. Do you know any Jasons? No. I wouldn't trust anybody called Jason. It's just it feels like a creepy name. Apologies if you're called Jason. I'm sure you'll love it. Um, she introduces her boyfriend to the monkey. Um, he he whinges. He's not happy because horny. The monkey is cock blocking Jason. Yes. In this scene. Yeah. So he want he wants some naughty time with Joan. And and Joan says, I can't believe you just don't want to spend time with me. Yeah. Here in my bedroom alone. <laughs> why are we? Why why are you getting handsy? Yeah. And. He just, he wants her, he freaks out and he eventually walks out on her. He's like, right, I'm going. If, you, if I'm not getting... They have any, a fight and he leaves, yeah. yeah. If I'm not, it basically says, if I'm not going to get any sex, I'm going to go. Yeah. So that's all I've come around for. <laughs> the so, monkey can stay. Yeah. <laughs> so he does. Maybe he's off. Um, she gives the monkey its own bedroom. She doesn't uh, seem she, that caught up about she, the uh, no, not really leaving. Because uh, her dad says, look, if he thought that little of you... He's not, not worth, worth it, which is and, true. And she seems fine with that. So yeah. uh, Joan makes a bed for the monkey. Yep, out of an old chair. In the spare room. Yep, gives it the same bedroom. Shuts the door. Leaves it, shuts the door. Monkey transform. Of course it does. It transforms into evil flying monkey man. Yeah, like a big, hairless, muscly, winged monkey. Yeah, like a demon type monkey demon. Yeah. And it gets out of the window, flies away out of the window. Um. Jason's wasted no time. No. he's He was horny. He's got to get it from somewhere. He's gone to chastity. He is. The sheriff's daughter. Um, which he's a little bit scared of. 
He's like, I know I shouldn't be doing this. Yes, because at, doing the, it anyway. at the start, he was saying that it's his friend who, who, really, who was, was saying, really I really want to. So there's two yeah, reasons why he shouldn't be doing it. Because of it's, it's his friend's crush. And she's the daughter of the sheriff. And he's cheating on Joan. And he's also cheating on Joan. Because this guy's a rabid scumbag. Um, He's a bit jumpy and he hears a noise outside so that really yeah, he's like oh is that your dad yeah and Chastity's like, no 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 he's out all he's night out. he's not, he's not coming he's doing back. cop stuff <laughs> so they get down to it a little bit more then they hear a noise again and eventually jason goes to have a look see what's going on and the monkey kills him yeah just the rips his throat out basically squeezes his head a bit and then rips his throat out <laughs> and then chases chastity yes it does and kills her too it, it really does <laughs> kills them both by head squeezing and, and we've got the, throat ripping. Yeah, we've got the standard sort of budget TV movie way of death, haven't we? Yeah. So it's the spurt of blood up the wall. Up the wall. Yeah, you don't actually see any of it. Yeah. You do see it grab it around the neck, to be fair. This is where your practical effects come in. Yes, there's a gloved hand. Yeah. And then blood spurts up the wall and they're both dead. And then suddenly we're in China. Oh, um, ju- no, just before that. So we cut to the morning and Sheriff, whatever his name is, arrives back. Oh, yeah. And he's, he's like held back. At home, yeah. They won't let him in. Let me see her. No, she's been... She's been monkeyed. Killed by something. Yeah, they don't know what's killed her or killed them both. Yeah. But obviously also Jason's been killed in Justice's house, so the, that news is going to get out as well. Sure. Yes, but then you're right. This is a globe-trotting adventure. <laughs> it really is. Um, we're in China. We meet two... I've written hunters all the way through this, but they're, Me too. I guess that's what they are. They're trying to. They they reveal at this point that there's only two of this kind of monkey in the world. Uh, one of them is still in this monk jungle in China, but somehow they're aware of the fact that the other one is no longer there. So they turn up at a poacher's camp. camp. Yeah. And yes, they give. We get all this exposition. Yeah. That these monkey demons. Yeah. There's, there was only two of them left. Yeah. Uh, and they hear that one of them's been sold. Yes. And that you guys sold him. They reveal also that they their families have been hunting these two monkeys for centuries. Yeah. Or this breed of monkey for centuries. And they hire these poachers to track them down or track the remaining one down. Yeah, they, they offer them some fat rolls. Yeah, they do. To offer some money. Uh, um, these The monkey demons are called Zygos. Zygos. I wonder where that comes from. I think it's the name of a Toyota car. <laughs> Zygo by Toyota. Um, they also reveal that their weapons are the only weapons that can kill these two monkeys because they're blessed weapons. Sure. And if any other weapons kill these monkeys, they don't die. They split into two and become two monkeys. There's your gimmick. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it as well. Next morning, back in the back in Kansas, the monkey's now back to normal. It's back in its room. Um, I thought I don't know why. I think I might have hallucinated here. Okay. My, the next line of my note says, "Morning, Kansas." Joan shuts the window. Monkey is wearing a belt. <laughs> I don't remember the seeing the monkey wear a belt, but it's possible. I don't know if she'd. She was going to put it on a lead and take it. I'm sure it had a belt on. Maybe she might be. She'd be taking it for a walk. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway. Um, anyway, Sonia turns up. Um, she reveals to she in in time honored teen tradition and uh, nicely breaking the news to Joan turns up and goes oh my god Joan I'm so sorry yeah and Joan goes I've what? just woke up what the What's hell are you going talking? on um, <laughs> your boyfriend's dead yeah also your boyfriend was cheating on you also the person you was cheating on you with she's also dead yes Joan freaks out a little bit as you would she's a little bit like oh shit my boyfriend's dead yeah she calls her dad her dad races home eventually wasn't easy to get hold of but he does get there in the end um and then we're back with the poachers in the jungle this is the point where they tell you about them splitting into two things yeah they were created by sorcerers <laughs> that's what we're told Very these strange. monkey demons um and if they get killed by any other weapon other than the blessed weapons then they will be split into two and you'll end up with two of them i really liked this bit yeah so this was really good the, <laughs> the hunters are following the trackers yeah they're tracking this monkey Basically through the through the I'm gonna say jungle. Yeah. They're walking by a hedge. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's no way they're in China. <laughs> they're somewhere and in deepest Southern America. These hunters who they said that, you know, we've spent years and years tracking these things. Yeah. Completely miss the last guy in the line <laughs> about two steps behind them being plucked 
off the ground yeah. by a monkey demon. It was very funny. And it then, was really funny. So he gets killed, and then they all turn back and be like, oh shit, that guy's just been killed by it. <laughs> the one we're trying to find. One of the poachers clearly hasn't been listening to the rules of this movie. Absolutely not. Shoots this demon monkey in the chest yes. and kills it. Good shot. And then, yeah, great shot. Then we get a CGI shot of the monkey splitting into two monkeys. Yeah. Two demon monkeys now. So now there's three of them left in the world. I tried to keep track. I did for a bit. And it's really <laughs> difficult to do. I couldn't get the maths right in my head. Um, so, and then the poachers kill them both with the blessed weapon. They do. So take them we're back out. down to one. One flying monkey. One, one zygo left, but it is not in this jungle. It's in America somewhere. Chastity's dad, the sheriff, vows revenge on whoever killed his daughter <laughs> at this does. point, which was really... And he basically funny. says to the deputy, yeah. I need to know you've got my back. Yeah. And that you'll let me do... Whatever I need to do. Yeah. To, to whatever did whatever happened to my daughter. Because they have no clue what went on. No. Uh, but they then get called out to the farm, the same farm from earlier. There's only one farm in this town. Basically, is um, pigs and dogs have been eaten alive. Yeah. And ripped up. A livestock and, murder. Yeah, there's been a livestock murder. Uh, but there's no tracks. No, but the, the deputy seems to be the only sensible law enforcement officer in this town. He says it looks like an animal attack. Yes. But there's no tracks. Yeah. there's no. It wasn't a coyote, is what the farmer said, because <laughs> there's no tracks. Um, meanwhile, while this is all going on, Joan's trying to figure out what this damn monkey eats, because it hasn't eaten She's anything. She's like, I've never seen him eat anything. I've never seen him eat anything, even though he's eating two pigs and a dog. So she tries to give him a banana. Yeah. A banana bee. <laughs> And it just that's a callback to the wave well done it, d- it doesn't won't want eat him. it no <laughs> doesn't want him he won't eat anything no candy floss grapes no <laughs> um, so she takes it well she doesn't take it she goes to the pet shop with Sonia and she speaks to Rudy and she says look what did the uh, what did the monkey eat when you had it because I can't get him to eat anything and he just went oh some birds and a cat <laughs> that's what he ate when I had him um, Joan's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then she spots two illegal parrots. Yeah, she's like, in the cage. What? They're endangered. You shouldn't have them. And Rudy's like, get out, get out, get, get out, out, get, get out. out my fucking store. It was a very weird scene. Um, Sonia's just like, I wouldn't worry about it, Joan, because you look at the bright side. You've got a cool monkey. Yeah. And it doesn't cost anything to feed. Yeah. What you? <laughs> what, what you worried what's about? What's the problem? <laughs> Imagine if. I hope she never becomes a mum. Same. <laughs> you've got a cool baby and you've not out to feed it. Oh, you've not got a cool baby anymore. <laughs> back to China. Uh, we go back to China. The um, hunters want to know who the poachers sold the monkey to. Yeah. So to make a point, they kill one of the poachers. Yes. They just shoot him in the chest with a blessed arrow. And that... Re- Leads main poacher to go, okay, you can have the name. Yeah. Here's the name. Rudy. Gives him Rudy's name. Marcus, I think his name was. So at this point, they have Rudy's name. Remember this. So it okay. comes back up. <laughs> um, that night, Skippy goes out for a fly again. He's uh, transformed again. He only transforms it at the evening. Joan goes to check on him and sees he is gone. Yes. So she did not see him go, but she she's like, where's my monkey? Where's my monkey I've gone? lost my monkey. <laughs> um. We cut to the farmer. The farmer is now sitting in a barn with his shotgun on his chest, waiting. We he knows... even get an overhead shot we do, yeah. of the zygo flying around the village. Yeah, indeed. Um, the farmer's waiting. The farmer doesn't have to wait for long because the monkey's gone straight back to his farm for some dinner. Yeah. Um, and eventually, the farmer shoots it. He, he has got a big shotgun. He has got a big shotgun. It shoots the zygo out of the sky. And we, he shoots it, but it flies off. Yeah. So we assume that he's wounded it. But then two fly back. Indeed. So we don't see the transformation this time. Um, the, so two fly back. He shoots one of them, which means we've now got three monkeys. And he's ripped apart. And then he's ripped to pieces. So I've written here. This is where I was still trying to keep track. So I've written there should be three now. Uh, the next day. Skippy knocks on the door. Yep. Yeah, James finds Skippy knocking on the door. Takes him back to Joan. Joan's really happy. On a tray. Run away. Yeah. It's like, it's like he was breakfast. <laughs> well, he's making breakfast for Joan. Yeah. And he talks to the monkey. Yeah. And he says, I've got a great idea. Forget about the breakfast. Get on this tray. Yeah. I'll take you on. What I've found. Joan's really happy to have her monkey back. Oh, she is happy. She's like, great. I've got my monkey back. And then her dad goes, I know it's going to be a tough day for you today. 
it's Jason's funeral. Yes. And that brings her down quite quickly. Quite quickly. The funeral, I have questions over the funerals. Me too. Timing wise. Um, Because that's happened very quickly for a star. Um, Where are we now? uh, Yeah, considering it's an unsolved case. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) And I think it's the next day. (laughs) Um, The police find the farmer's body. That's all been ripped to shreds and eaten again. Also, why the hell is the sheriff working on the day that his daughter's daughter's funeral? (laughs) Because both funerals are on the same day. Yeah. Yeah. One after each other. Not at the same time. One after each other. Um, Deputy wants to call the feds because this is something that they can't handle on their own. He says, call the feds. I don't care. It'll take them two days to get here. And by the time they get here, I'll have solved this case. Yeah. That's quite a cool line. I like that. Um, Joan and Sonia are now on their way back from Jason's funeral. Yeah. So Sonia drops Joan off at her house. And then goes off to Chastity's Uh, funeral. Yeah. And says, you sure you don't want to come? And she's like, no. no, So the funeral. Never like the bits. We're not going on at the same time. They're no. going separately, but with enough gap in between for Joan to get home. Yeah. That's very weird. Small town. Small town. It's just weird that they're both happen on the same day for a start and not at the same time. Um, Then the dude from earlier turns up, the one who had the crush on Chastity. I yeah, didn't so we... Uh, Paul. Paul. We'd only Paul. seen him right at the start for two minutes two at minutes. the graduation. Yeah. So uh, he shows up. Um, He was like... On Joan's doorstep and he's like... This was so weird. It was It was really... It was... Unnecessary. I didn't like this. No, it was it unnecessary. Was uncomfortable and offensive. Paul shows up and says, I know that obviously you've been through a tough time. Yeah. You you lost your boyfriend. Yeah. You broke up with your boyfriend. Yeah. Then he cheated on you. Yeah. And he was murdered. Yeah. <laughs> and the person he cheated on you with was, was murdered as well. Yeah. But I've also been through a difficult time. <laughs> yeah. It's all about me, baby. I quite fancied chastity. Yeah. And Jason knew this. But Jason's also betrayed me. And he's, and he's like, if you need anything, I'm here, baby. <laughs> it was really bad. It was really bad. Um, he's, I've written here, he's really badly trying to pick her up. Yeah. And then he leans in to try to kiss her. Yeah. It was creepy. He's not a, he's a weird looking guy as well. I think she likes gins him. Yeah. And then Paul takes a swing at the monkey. Yeah. The monkey tries to save Joan. Yeah. The monkey takes a swipe at him. So he kicks it. He gives it a kick. Um, and I've written, uh-oh. <laughs> That's not going to go well for Paul, I don't think. And then we're in Hong Kong. We are. We're globe trying all over China. Um, the hunters turn up at the pilot's house. So oh, yeah. Wang's back in. Wang's back film. in. He's sitting on his camp bed watching some He's watching monkeys show. canoeing. Yeah, that's it. Because it's China, uh, Japan. No, where are we? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Uh, yeah, it's bizarre. He's watching, and he's really laughing at it. There's monkeys in boats, and he's just really laughing at it. Then these hunters turn up and he, he reacts like he was expecting them to turn up, even though he wasn't. Yeah. He's not a very good actor, this guy. I looked him up. He's just a stuntman. He's never been in right. else. I say just a stuntman. That's really hard. <laughs> he's, he's got 108 stunt credits, wow, and, including like Avengers Endgame, Wonder Woman, like loads good of top, top quality films. Good for him. So I really undersold him there. I apologize. Um, but he's not an actor. Um, they turn up because they want to know who he gave the monkey to. Oh, Even yeah. though they already have Rudy's name. <laughs> and they never got Wang's name. They never got Wang's name, but they did get Rudy's name. And then they turn up to try and find out who he sold the monkey to, which they already know. That's amazing. <laughs> what should have kind of makes me like this movie more. What should have happened is the poacher should have said, I sold it to this guy called Wang. He's got a plane. He probably sold it to somebody in America. Yeah. You then go to see Wang. He gets Rudy's name and he's also got a plane so they can get to America. Yeah. That's how this scene should have worked. That isn't how this scene worked. Back in Kansas, Paul is shooting, getting drunk and shooting cans off a Not only that, fence. he's camoed up. Yeah, he's, he's all camoed up. He's got his gun out so he's had to put his camouflage top on. Yeah. Uh, he's shooting some cans. And then Skippy shows up. Uh, our uh, monkey shows our up. Our monkey shows up. Uh, they're all called Skippy. They're all like duplicates, duplicates of the same guy. Um, <laughs> and, then, um, and then he shoots him. He yeah. Killed, just... It's not the demon version. This is the cute little yeah. cool little monkey. Friends version. Friends version of the monkey. And he shoots him and kills him. Uh, with, and he instantly turns into a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so good. And Rigor Mortis has instantly, instantly set in. <laughs> He goes over and picks up this teddy bear, cardboard looking <laughs> monkey with a red dot on it, which is 
rigid. <laughs> it's like a, it looks like he's been fucking crucified. It does. And puts it in his ice box. Yeah, puts it in his cooler. I've written in brackets. There should be five of these things now. Meanwhile, back at home, Joan goes into Skippy's yeah, the sun, bedroom. Yeah, the sun's gone down. The sun's gone down. Joan goes in to check on Skippy. Just as she does, she witnesses the transformation. Yeah. She sees it transform. It sees her seeing it transform. Looks over its shoulder yeah. and says, see you later. See you later. And then it flies out the window. Um, Paul gets home. He's a little bit drunk. He's a little bit worse for wear. And he's got two... He's got a dead... As far as he knows, a dead monkey in his He's collar. like, I'm going to mount this dead monkey. <laughs> Does. <laughs> On my wall. <laughs> I'd best add that bit. <laughs> uh, so he goes to open his cooler and two demon monkeys fly out. They would have never fed... Fe- 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 <laughs> they never fetted in there. Fit in that ice box. 100%. There's I, two I've of them. I've definitely got end of term These are giggles. Like, when, <laughs> when, when these monkeys are psychos, when they're demons, they're the size of almost humans. They are. Large children. They are one hench beast. Yeah. Beast, yeah. And two of them may fit in. One of them wouldn't have fit in that cooler, let alone two. You shave a big monkey. <laughs> I haven't. No, but if you did, <laughs> yeah. you know, that's that's pure muscle yeah. under there. Yeah, you're talking, yeah. Plus wings and vampire teeth. That's what we're dealing That's with. That's what we're dealing with. Two of them we'll ain't fitting in that we'll cooler. Put a dip, we'll put a pic... We'll put a... What? We'll put a picture. <laughs> <laughs> we're not putting one of them pictures. We'll put a picture of one in the Discord. pay extra for that. <laughs> and you'll be disappointed. DM me privately. <laughs> oh, dear. Then we're at the gas station. We meet creepy gas station dude again. He's yeah, he's got... His, ringing his wife, or presumably high school age girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, he... Telling her he's on his way home. Well, he says, I've just got to stop at the bank yeah. and give pay He's my closing up the gas station. He rings his wife, says, I'm, pay the I'm on my way home, but I've got to stop at the bank. Um, then he gets attacked by evil flying demon monkeys. Um, and he shoots three of them. This guy never held a gun before. <laughs> He's a good shot. Yeah, I know. He's a crack shot. He yeah. shoots three of them with one bullet each. Um, and then They're like perched on a top of the, the uh, canopy over the gas yeah. station. Uh, then he gets murdered himself by them. They six of them. Six of them, because obviously he shot three. We've now got six. This is where I lost track of how many we've got. Now. Yeah. There's a lot of these. Things about ten. Around. Yeah, we're about ten now. Um, then Joan arrives at the gas station. Yeah, because she's tried to she's follow followed Skippy, Skippy, I guess. wherever he's gone. Um, the six zygos around this petrol station guy. Yeah, around the dead body. She like sees this. Two sitting on top of the car and yeah. four of them just devouring She it. sees it. They see her. They don't attack her. No. They leave her. They fly I thought Skip her. or the leader, Skippy, kind of held one of them back. Yeah, he did. Yeah. There's a bond. There is. There's a bond. <laughs> then she calls her dad and she's like, Dad, the, the she monkey's... basically tries to explain what's happening. Very badly because she's crying her eyes out and it's all very strange. And she's she, trying no, to... He takes it quite well. I he thought. understood what she was on about when I didn't and I just watched the same thing that she'd watched. Yeah. Because he immediately calls the sheriff and says, yeah. I've just had quite a strange phone call. <laughs> Something's happened at the gas station. Yeah. Joan's on her way home. She's seen some animal tear the guy to pee. To Old pee- man to gas or whatever his <laughs> name man is. Man gas station. Yeah, that was him. Johnny gas station. Um, yeah, she calls. he calls the sheriff and he's like, look, I'm 20 minutes away. Can you get to my house quicker than that? Uh, because I want to make sure she's okay. So, yeah, the sheriff, the sheriff says, I'll go to your house. I'm sending my deputy to the gas station. Which is exactly what he does. Um, and then we cut away to the poachers. So, the, no, not the poachers, the hunters. Yep. And the pilot, yep. Wang, turn up at the Rudy's Pet Shop. How long does it take to fly from Hong Kong to Kansas? Long time. Because I don't think much time has passed. They didn't fly, they teleported. And that was a old-ass plane. <laughs> Unless this is happening on two separate timelines, then yes. The, the <laughs> timeline does not add up at all. Um, but they turn up at Rudy's Pet Shop. I don't know how they managed to get into the country, how they've got through customs or anything, but they've they've got there with their weapons. Smuggling. <laughs> Smuggling people in now. Um, but then they have a fight with Rudy. Basically, yeah. he doesn't want them there. They want to be there, so they have a fight. Um this this threw me as well, because they, they they get the better of him. They they get him down on the floor and they've got a gun. They're to like, his Where head. did you sell your monkey to? And he's like, Oh, I can't remember the guy's name, but if you check in my top pocket, the check's still in there. Yeah. It's at least five days since he bought this monkey because the monkey's changed five times. So he's still got the check in his top pocket. Indeed. He doesn't make many sales, old Roots, does he? Dates this movie, doesn't it? <laughs> When's the last time you check. wrote a check? I don't think I've ever written a check. Oh, really? I don't think so. The policeman turns up at Joan's house. The sheriff turns up at Joan's house, interviews her a little bit, asks her what's been going on. 
Um, as soon as her dad shows up, the sheriff leaves. Yeah. Doesn't explain what's happened. But or the anything. deputy rings as well and says, I'm at the gas station. Yeah. But they don't even have like a conversation. No. He's not even like, yeah, Joan's fine. She's seen some crazy shit going on. He's he like, says, I've got a statement. He's like, yeah, see you later. Just leaves. It's very strange. They both head over to the gas station. The she- deputy, the sheriff goes to meet the deputy at the gas station. Yeah. Some more get shot, basically. Some more psychos get shot at the gas station. And eventually, the deputy gets murdered. He does. He gets killed by the demon monkeys. There's many monkeys now. There's, there's a lot now. Yeah, we've lost track Ooh. completely of how many there are. This one, this next scene was odd. Yeah, this is the this is the obligatory B movie hot girl in a shower scene. Oh no, there's one before. Oh, that. okay, sorry. That was odd. These <laughs> both these scenes were odd. So Joan calls Sonia. Yeah. She doesn't answer because we see she's starting to get into the shower. Yes. We then cut to a pizza delivery bar- guy on his bike. Yeah, that's where I was going next. That's my next bit. Uh, he delivers his pizza. Yep. To a shed. Yep. Seemingly in the middle of nowhere. I was like, wh- who are where, these people and yeah, where have they come wh- from? Uh, the guy's then plucked off his bicycle by a zygo. Yep. Never to be seen again. My note for that whole scene says pizza delivery boy delivers pizza, gets killed just to up the body count. Yeah. Because that's exactly the only reason he was there. Um, Sonia's now in the shower. We've seen her in her, in her underwear. And she's a hot girl in the shower in a horror movie. It happens. It's just one of those things, isn't it? It's a yeah. trope. She she hears something outside the shower, so she pulls the curtain back and presumably sees a demon monkey. Someone's let a monkey in her house. <laughs> but she gets away from it. She manages to escape. She wraps it in the shower curtain. She does. She manages to... Punches it in the face. <laughs> she does. Meanwhile, back at Joan's house, Dad and James is there. He's like, right, I'm going to go out now because you've had this really harrowing experience. So I'm going to leave you here on your own. Yep. And I'm going to go and check No on... thought to the fact that Skip is actually not threatened joan no so maybe you should stay with her yeah stick with her um he's like i'm gonna go and f- check on the sheriff because the sheriff's not answering his phone now either and then uh, on my way back i'll check on sonia because she's also not answering <laughs> her phone Joseph. jane jane says to her dad i'm really worried about sonia i called her over a hundred times <laughs> <laughs> i'm hoping she was like a, quite the effort. i'm hoping that was exaggeration but you never know um <laughs> this this bit really made me laugh so james turns up at the gas station and he's just sitting in his car and then all of a sudden the sheriff just basically goes boo <laughs> just like that he actually james actually physically shits himself he's over, he's like, what, what are you doing here boys? <laughs> so funny because he's like james is like Whoa! <laughs> it proper makes him jump it's it really made me laugh i was really i laughed out loud sorry if that was a there was a loud spike there on the mic i apologize if you're listening on earphones you probably just shit yourself as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the 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 sheriff and james now are together at the gas station yeah sonia the sheriff gives james a gun he does yeah and says he basically deputizes him yeah. he's basically be my new deputy i want i want you to know now if you think this was intentional or not so sonia turns up at jane's house and she knocks on the door so hard that she puts her fist through the window. I see that, yeah. <laughs> and i'm not 100 percent sure it was intentional because <laughs> neither of them ever right, even like she, there's like a little glass panel and she's yeah. banging and banging and then she puts her hand straight through it. And I was like, that was not supposed to happen. And she's she, found a way <laughs> wrapped only in a towel yeah. to Jones. Yeah, she's got the other side of town. Yeah. In a towel. In a town where infested with flying monkeys. But no people. So yeah. it's fine. She could do that. Fine. <laughs> Jones like, right, let's get you some clothes and we'll figure out what the hell's going on. Uh, and then we come back to the sheriff and Joan's dad. Yeah, and, James. and and James says, "Right, we've got to get back." Yeah, my so daughter I, might I be said in danger. We'd check on Sonia, and then we need to get her. We need to get home. I need to see how my daughter. Is. <laughs> and the sheriff goes, "We'll do that. I've just got to make a stop at the sugar mill." Yeah, he gets a call on the radio to check out the sugar mill. Something's gone down at the sugar mill. And that's where things click for me because this is the same place where the pizza guy got. Yeah, that shed that we went to earlier is apparently a sugar mill. Yeah. It's the town sugar mill. This is the point where I've written, where are all the people in this town? Because they're driving through the town. There's no other cars about no. or anything. The, the town's being attacked by flying monkeys and nobody's like panicking or anything. Um, then they find Scotty. That's the pizza boy. Okay. He, he gets named. They find him and his bike. Um, and then they find the security guard who brought the pizza. They find his remains. He's in a bad this way Because well. the sheriff goes... Oh, the pizza's still warm. It can't have after longer. He doesn't like go, yeah. oh, the remains are still... <laughs> the body's barely still twitching. <laughs> yeah. And then, in my own words, a fuck ton of monkeys show up. Yeah. 
So somebody's been shooting these things. Down at the old sugar mill, there's, there's, surrounded by monkeys. There's literally hundreds in the sky. So somebody's been shooting them. Um, Obviously, the course of action is for Sheriff and James to open fire on this horde of flying monkeys. Of course it is. Why would it not be? Yeah. Th- th- this becomes my next note in a minute when the poachers can are now coming towards the town and they can see the sugar mill from a distance. Yeah. And they can see all the flying monkeys in the sky. Sure. They kind of like, oh shit, look at all those flying monkeys in the sky. And they can hear the gunshots. And <laughs> one of them goes, what's with these American fools and their guns? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> um, the hunters go straight to the sugar mill, obviously, because this is where they're going. And they're very, very angry yeah, at I James mean, and the sheriff for shooting the monkeys. Yeah, but they do get out of the car and the sheriff does say, why the hell has Bruce Lee turned up? <laughs> yeah, that is true. Which is not on. <laughs> no, it's definitely not on. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> I'm not quite sure I made it into this <laughs> edit. Different to be times. Honest. Uh, yeah, but they're, they're super angry at these two for shooting the monkeys. And I'm like, how are they supposed to know not to? Yeah. You, of course you're going to shoot them. In the mid, the gunfight kind of fades. Well, she's like, stop shooting the fucking <laughs> monkeys. Can't you see that it's making them double? And, and James says to the lady hunter, well... I've got one of these. It lives in my house. Yeah. I, I think this might be my fault. And and the hunter lady is like, you ha- one of these what? doesn't live in your house. No. These these don't and like And he says, no, 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 no. No. It's, it, it's part of our family. Yeah. Uh, and, and then the hunter lady just goes, your house is its, is its nest, nest now. <laughs> no, I don't think you're understanding, lady. <laughs> We've made it a bed. It's not got a nest. Then the monkeys attack. Yeah. Um, Goodbye, Wang. See you, Wang. So, one of the hunters also gets killed. Yes. The male hunter uh, guy. Bruce. Um, and the sheriff. And Rudy. Yeah. A lot of people die all at once in this yeah. film. So, we lose Wang, the sheriff, Rudy, and one of the hunters. But everybody else is... Well, I say everybody else is killed. There's nobody else left. The James and the female hunter. Who also... Seriously, someone. Just find some other names. The lady hunter is called Yin. Oh, Wow. Okay, I didn't spot that off. <laughs> and he, James is like, right, we need to go back to my house. And she's like, damn right, we need to go back to your house. That's the nest. We'll get, we'll find it there. We'll, that's where the leader will be. Meanwhile, at home, Joan and Sonia have blocked the door. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, made was, me this was like straight out of the Big Lebowski, this was. <laughs> it really was. So they blocked the door. <laughs> with a chair. I can't even say it. They blocked the door with a chair. And James just walks in. <laughs> just opens the door. <laughs> just opens the, the door and the chair falls over. <laughs> That was really funny. It didn't I hope, work it, I hope it was intentional. I so do I. Um, Lady Hunter Yin now reveals that if they kill the leader, they all will die. Yeah, sure. What? It's just it's <laughs> Why? an easy way out, isn't it? Why will they? All the duplicates will die. All of dupl- If you kill Skippy, the main first one, yeah. the leader one. Problem is, there's about 300 monkeys flying around. Yeah. How do you know which one's which? Yeah, exactly. Also... So Skippy was the first monkey in this film. Yeah. It got shot. That's yeah. what produced two more monkeys. So, is, aren't so they there is all no leader. Duplicates? Yeah. There is no leader. Is it producing two? It's not saying... Or did it? Did she say that comes back to life? I can't remember. No, I think check. She, it's, it duplicates is the word she uses. Right. And we see it when it gets shot. We see it split into two monkeys. So there isn't an original monkey. That's dead. <laughs> but we'll forget that little plot hole. Um. She wants to use Joan as bait. Yeah. She wants to basically send Joan outside. Go, it's come like, he'll come back to his he'll nest come, eventually. Will. And it does, basically. Joan, Joan and, Joan I, and Sonia both go out as bait. For some reason, they've split up. Yeah, they do. They split into... I, don't... I, th- I think the idea was Joan and Sonia go out as the bait. And then the hunter lady with her blessed weapon can but, shoot it but, from a but distance. But they hide in a bush. They, yeah. Cause... Which I'm pretty sure is the same bush they walked around when, <laughs> when they're, they're in the jungle. When they're in China. <laughs> Yeah, I think the idea was that Joan and Sonia go out and be the bait on the doorstep okay. and then she can shoot it with a crossbow from a distance. Right. Why in this climactic battle does this badass lady hunter who's been pretty cool all the way through yeah. suddenly just go, shit? <laughs> don't know. So it's, it's like, you know, this is it. This is your moment. Oh, I've completely forgotten how to fight, hold a gun or... Yeah, she instantly she goes gets, to pieces. She goes to pieces she? and gets killed. Yeah. Instantly. She just dies. Yeah. Pretty much as the beginning of this scene. It, the monkey comes the monkey does turn up the lead monkey that doesn't exist does turn up and instantly kills the lead hunter and then it attacks james yes 
Well, not initially, because yeah. it's kind of like it doesn't. It quite likes James as well. Yeah, and he has to provoke it. Doesn't yeah, it? he does. Um, Joan gets a shot off at it, and it it does get like injured. And yeah, then Skippy it, mounts the dad. Yeah, so she gets a shot off at it. Yeah, and it flies up into its room, into its bedroom window. And James is like, "Right, I'm going to finish this now. I'm going in." Grabs a machete. Grabs his machete. I'm going in. I'm going to finish this off. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't last very long. <laughs> it doesn't finish it off. Skippy just pushes him down the stairs. Literally just pushes him down. But there's the two stairs. mattresses at the bottom of the stairs. What? I'm glad you spotted that. <laughs> so what? that he falls on. He lands literally lands on two mattresses. They've never I, been there before. No, I assume they were part of the barricade that they were about to build oh, at the oh, door. Right, okay, but also the convenient stunts. place to land yeah. on. Yeah, I presume they were in the middle of building I the barricade at that, the door. Yeah. But I think that's yeah. what was going on. Um, the monkey attacks James and then turns on Joan. And it kind of grabs her around the throat yeah. and pins her up against the wall. But Joan then gets it point blank with a crossbow. Yeah, she delivers a one-liner, well, Arnie style. What was the one-liner? Before she pulls the trigger. No more monkey business. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she, and she, yeah, she point blanks it through a crossbow and it dies. And then it turns back into a tiny, tiny, tiny little monkey. Yeah. Because they show it shrinking and it just kept shrinking. Yeah. I'm like, what's it doing? And then it cut away before it ends. I'm sure it was one of those little finger monkeys <laughs> by the end. Um, Turns but... to a sea monkey. <laughs> yeah. And then we cut away back to the sugar mill where the rest are hanging around. And and they all just the drop sky. out of the sky. They all die as the prophecy is foretold. So there's none, none of this. That's the last of the kind. There's no more of these monkeys left. And there's also no more hunters left. So that worked out quite nicely. Yeah. What goes around comes around. Dad, James, Sonia and Joan... All just sit on the step and have a bit of a cuddle. There's some porch banter. <laughs> there is. And then Joan turns to James and says, don't bring home any more pets. And James says, deal. And then the film ends. And uh, I think, I don't know why I noticed this, but you know, usually at the end of a movie, you've got like five or six minutes left to run yeah. for credits. This had 40 seconds. Oh, is that all it had? <laughs> yeah. Credits, really? Wow. In all fairness, there's no extras in this at all no. there's like what nine or ten main characters yeah and probably what three cameramen that's probably all there is in it i think so what do you think of it to circle back round to the start i think 3.6 is a really harsh rating i agree i we've seen much worse than this rated much higher than this yeah yeah this was pitched just about spot on yeah. for what it was it's a low-budget B-movie creature feature. And it it is what it is, isn't it? And it worked. And the effects are good enough. It's funny, at times intentionally, mostly unintentionally. <laughs> yeah. I've had a great time talking about it. Same. And I, I'm not going to say the acting's good. But it's not bad. But it's not terrible. It's, Michael Monroe is a good actress. She's, yeah, she's, she's she in... leads this. It's, Clearly, she's very young in this. Yeah, this she, is one of her first roles. She does a really good job. Yeah, I agree. Every Everybody's great in it. Everyone does well in this. Yeah. And I really had a good time. I'm, I I think I was in a good mood when I watched it, but I I'm, was really pleasantly surprised. I'm I quite was, surprised by this. I was on board and I was just, I was with it. I was like, yeah, I'm in, I'm in the mood for this. This is taking me. I'm surprised at how good the monkeys look. I just really enjoyed it. Good. I'm really, I'm really glad that you've made me really happy by saying that, because I really enjoyed it as well. And I thought I'd sit here tonight and we'd be arguing at the end of a season, and we're not going to be. No, we're going to agree because I had a really fun. Time. This is a fun film. Obviously, you've got to be into this type of film. You've got to be into these B movies to get it. It's on the same level as all of the shark films, isn't it, and all of those sort of things. It is, but we've seen so many of those that just, you know, maybe it's it. <laughs> You know, they're literally just a catchy title. Yeah. And then there's nothing in there. There's no substance. Yes, it's clearly a TV movie. Yes, it looks cheap. Uh, it's starting to look a bit dated. But it's fun. And I, just, I had a good I time. I guess the only other thing we can compare it to that we've actually done on the show is Zombievers. I think it's better than that. The story-wise, it's definitely better than that. I think story-wise, it's better than that. Performances, is better than that. That obviously is a lot more polished, has a lot more money, and is a lot more recent. Yeah, and goes but for I the would laughs watch a lot this more. Yeah. over Zombievers. Same. 
Uh, I I would have actually compared it to something we've seen this season uh, in Destruction Las Vegas. Yeah, similar, similar idea. You know, a similar sort of TV type movie. Uh, but I I had a really good time. Good. I'm really. You've really made me happy. I'm yeah, really glad by it's that. Fun. It is. It's really good fun. Check it out. What's the best thing about it? Oh, that's that's tough. Uh, I think. The best thing about it is the fact that it's good. <laughs> this sounds stupid, but it could have easily gone the other way. And they've, they've actually achieved something with this that actually kind of works. I just, I just quite, like the di- I quite like the gimmick of the duplicating monkeys. Yeah, I think that's a really clever idea. And I, just, I had it's quite stupid. fun. It is stupid, but, <laughs> but I, had, really I had quite good. a lot of fun with the... <laughs> to paraphrase this movie, stupid Americans with their guns <laughs> just shooting, shooting things because that's the answer. And it made it worse. Yeah. It made the situation infinitely worse. It was a knowing glance, wasn't it? Yeah. To sort of good and culture and stuff. I know. I just, yeah, I quite like that. Agreed. What would they you didn't change? quite wear out the joke, so it was fine. No, yeah. What would you change about it? I think in, a, in an ideal world, if money's no object, we're spending more time on the monkeys. Okay. Yeah, I would fair. like to... But I would spend more money. But you're going retro, so I would like to have seen them done practically, almost like uh, the the gatekeepers in Ghostbusters. Yeah, something like that. That's a very similar you know, look, isn't it? Kind of. That, yeah. But you know, all drooly and dribbly and yeah, they were a bit waxy, weren't they? they yeah, they were a bit like plastic. They were still they were still fine. Yeah. But at times they were a bit grey and like yeah, waxy, see throughy yeah, and featureless. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that, that's why I'm. Spe- if I'm saying, you know, have a bit more money, have a go again. I'm yeah. doing. I'm doing something like that with it. I think what this film missed is a. I'm probably getting rid of the racistness of it as yeah, well. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's <laughs> do that in every film. That's that's a that, that's a given. I think what this film missed more than anything is a celebrity cameo. I'd have liked to have seen a bigger name in there playing a smaller role. That's what you get in these type of films, isn't it? Like to get to get killed by a monkey. Yeah. Yeah. The pizza boy should have been Macaulay Culkin or yeah. something. Yeah, it needed to be. There needed to be a celebrity cameo in there. So it just kind of that works. would have been a nice, just kind of top works, doesn't it? Yeah. But other than that, I've got no issue with it. I'm cool, absolutely fine with it. Do you want to talk stream table? Yeah, this could sure. be quite good fun. This is the last film that's going in this stream table show. Shall I we go through from the bottom? I think you're going to have to. Okay, so currently at the bottom of the stream for season six is the fuck it list, right where it belongs. Uh, 23rd currently is Werewolves of the Third Reich, followed by Secret Obsession, Get In, Bloodbath at the House of Death. That was my wild card pick for this season. Uh, Anti-Life, American Mary. That was Ross Cook's wild card pick for this season. Time Freak, The Holiday Calendar, Destruction Las Vegas, previously mentioned. A Classic Horror Story, The Perfection, Containment, Arlo the Alligator Boy. Then we get into the top 10. The top 10 is He Never Died. I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore. Before I Wake. Aries. Good Time. Top 5 are Orbiter 9. Hello, My Name is Doris. What Happened to Monday. Nick's wildcard pick of Under the Shadow. And Sam Mulholland's season winning wildcard pick of Apostle. Okay. Where does this film go in there? I think it's tough. I think it's tough. Because there's... Quite a lot of films on this list that this movie is worse than. Yes. It's that old chestnut of, I had a good time watching this. Yeah. So what does that count for? I I would refer you back to my earlier comment that I think this has to... I think Destruction Las Vegas is sort of the benchmark this season for this type of movie, this sort of TV movie. Yeah. Uh, that does have all that celebrity stuff in there. Um. And I enjoyed this more than that. Okay. So, I will, for my start of 10, put this in 14th place. So, currently just below a classic horror story. No, but, uh, above, above a classic that. horror story. Yeah. I When I was reading through that table, I had it, I picked a place where I wanted it to go. Okay. And I was one more above you there. Okay. I would put it above the perfection, but it isn't as good as containment. Okay. I mean, oh, the perfection's fucking weird, though. It's a really weird film. <laughs> it's a proper weird film. Like, oh, it's not as fun as this, but it's 
really, really weird, and it really threw me for a left turn. <laughs> Just a bit. Um, I get them mixed. Up. I get that and American Mary mixed up in my head <laughs> all the time. They're virtually the same film. Um, the first. The problem with the perfection is, it's three films in one, and the first half an hour is really good. Yeah, and it gets less good with each half an hour. Yeah, and each time it twists. Agreed. Ultimately, leaving it a bit of a frustrating package. Yeah, and that's very difficult to compare with this flying <laughs> monkey film. <laughs> okay, this is more fun. Yeah, put it above it. I I think so. It, it doesn't trouble containment. I don't think. I think can, as a containment as a, like a whole is no. You're not attempting to put monkeys next to alligators. <laughs> it's dangerous. Yeah. No, I think I don't think so. I don't think it's better than containment. I'm I, ha- I'm happy with that. Yeah. So thirteenth. Yeah. I never thought this would be halfway up the table <laughs> when I? this came out of the randomizer last week. I was fully expecting to be talking bottom three or four. Yeah. And it isn't. It isn't that at all. It's, it's fun. This is how this is how this sort of low budget B movie should be done. Yeah. And it's done really well. I've really enjoyed recapping it. Same. Yeah. And I knew we would. But I honestly didn't think you'd enjoy it as much as you have. So that's good. So that's it. Our stream table is complete. Our season is complete. Indeed. We have no film to pick. Well done. Thank you. Well done to you too. It's, you. it's a tough slug these 25 weeks. But we've, uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. We love it. It's, we it's, absolutely They go it. so fast. They So fast. Some of the movies are a tough slug. <laughs> yeah. What was, season, what was episode one of this season? Was it contained? It was, yeah. That doesn't even feel like that long <laughs> ago. I can remember containment. And my memory's shocking. Overall then, what do you... Because we've not got to pick a movie, let's just do some waffle. What do you think of this season overall? I... I think the top half... Yeah. ...is strong. I agree. I, I think overall it's probably one of our... I, I feel like we've been a lot luckier mm. this season in terms of the randomizers. I I I feel like... We had a real nadir yeah. last season in terms of what the randomizer was chucking out at us, uh, and I. But I feel that things have kind of been made up for with season six. We've had, on average, a better quality of movie has been selected for us. There is an argument there that that top ten is the best top ten we've ever done. Yeah, I, I really genuinely believe that. There's some cracking good films in that top ten, but I would say all the way down to seventeen, probably. Are not bad films. Until you get to America Mary, which isn't a great film, and then you get into Anti Life, Bloodbath at the House of Death. Get in. But Time Freak is all right. It's me- it's wrong. it's messy and it's wrong. Yeah, but it is, that's a film. It isn't. It isn't a bad film. Destruction Las Vegas is fun. The Holiday Calendar. How is that sixteenth? It was all right. Any other season, that's Christmas that, Spirit. Any other season, the Holiday Calendar's top ten, maybe. Maybe. Well, I don't know about that. It was oh, higher than that, for definite. Yeah. Classic Horror Story. It's not bad. The Perfection's not a bad film. Destruction Las Vegas. Fun. They're the messy ones, aren't they? They're That's the, the messy they're the ones middle. That didn't, didn't quite nail it. But. And then uh, when you get to the bottom, the fuck it list is a god-awful film. One of the worst ones we've ever done. I think the bottom three are pretty all-timers. Pretty terrible. All they're, they're right down with the worst we've ever seen. So the fuck it list, Werewolves of the Third Reich and the Secret Obsession. Secret Obsession was possibly the most boring one we've ever done. Yeah. That was a tough slog. That, that was a real slog. But overall, I think the top 10 this season definitely is... I would recommend any of those films in that top 10. Top 12. 13. I'd recommend 9 out of the top 10. Then that's pretty good. Same. <laughs> Absolutely same. I forgot Good Time was in there. Well, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Oh, t- talking of which, just before we go, hmm. I do want to give a quick shout out uh, to one of our followers on Twitter. Okay. Um, Bob Collins. I knew you were going to bring this up. Because <laughs> good on Bob. Big fan of yours, isn't he, Bob? <laughs> Doesn't like me so much, but big fan of yours. Good old Bob Hi, said... Bob. Shout out to Bob. It's <laughs> not where the earth Bob is. <laughs> did mention that he also didn't like Before I Wake. He did. Yeah, he found the time in his day to tell me that I was wrong. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're a lovely man. <laughs> we welcome. I welcome. You've always been the fan all, favorite on this show. I, you're the fan favorite. I'm the controversial one. That's how. That's how this works. Anyway. Anyway. Hi, Bob. Um. 
That's it. Season six completed. In the books. We don't have a film to pick because obviously we should probably mention we're not doing any shows next week. No, we're having a week. Having up. a week away. Um, following that, we will do the wild card winners episode. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, and we'll get into the wild cards in a minute, but if you win, as Sam has just done our wild card race for the season, you get to pick any film from the history of time, and we'll do a short episode on it. Yeah. And so we're going to do that for Sam because he's just won this season, and he also won last season. He's, he's got really good at picking bank. films. Yeah. And then the Botskers are going to be two weeks today. Yep. I can't wait. I love doing the Botskers. Yeah, we we have a selection of awards, uh, which we'll give out to various categories from movies that we uh, we have we have looked at in yep. the last two seasons. We'll also we'll do, do a annually. bigger season debrief in that episode as well, I guess. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we we'll then and then following that, the wave will return the following Monday, and then the movie show will also return the following Thursday. Yeah. We'll be back into season seven. I know. Who'd have thought we'd have ever gone? This will be going into four years of the show. Amazing. Brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Those podcasts don't last that long. We, that gives you know, us a great opportunity here's to a fact say. For you. So, well, okay, quick fine. fact, sorry, before you get into it. Most podcasts don't get past episode seven. Right. The majority of podcasts, mate, don't get past episode seven. We're about to get into season seven. Brilliant. We're awesome. <laughs> well, you know, we're all right. But what I was going to say is thank you for everyone 100%. who's ever downloaded even just one episode because, uh, it, you know, it's a great surprise. We really like doing the show and, and talking about these, these mostly terrible movies. <laughs> uh, but it makes it great when we find a good one. And thank you for everyone who listens, be it regular or just every now and again, because it's all really appreciated. And we continue to be gobsmacked. By the amount of people who listen to us. Absolutely. But please carry on. Please carry on and please tell your friends and your family and whoever. Yeah. Anybody else that you might think who thinks might be interested in us, go and tell them about it. And when you when you do that, you can tell them to follow us <laughs> on, on Twitter and Instagram and Letterbox at B O T S underscore podcast on all three of those apps. Um our email address is bottom of the stream at gmail.com and our website is bottom of the stream.com. On the website, you'll find every episode we've ever recorded. You'll find all the stream, stream tables. You will even be able to get some merch if you want a bottom of the stream whiskey glass. Oh, lovely. I actually do want that. Oh, we'll get Just you. Just decided. Because <laughs> our birthday's coming up. We'll get each other yeah. one. Um, after you've done all that, head over to Patreon, patreon.com slash bottom of the stream. On there for a couple of quid every month, you will get early access to episodes. You will get bonus episodes. Nick writes a newsletter every single month, which is awesome. And if you come in at the top level, you will get a wild card. So you can compete in the season seven wild card race and try and win, try and knock Sam off his pedestal. Yeah, great. That's what we've all got to do. Sam's the target. Great time to join. So not, not only did Sam win the wild card race, he won, his, his movie topped Tops, the table. Top of the table. That's an impressive feat. Yeah. Well done, Sam of Holland. And then when you've done all of that, head into the Discord, come and join us in there. We've got a lovely community of awesome film lovers and people in that Discord now. And we do watch-alongs. We do all sorts. We chat pretty much every day. People are chatting in yeah. there. Definitely every day. Sharing yeah. recommendations. Yeah, there's loads of film recommendations in there. Just if we watch anything, we'll chat about it. Yeah. Talk about these films. Talk about everything in there. Check us out on Discord. The Discord link will be in the bottom of the show notes. If you can spare a few minutes, please leave us a review or a rating anywhere you can review or rate podcasts. That could be Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, Cephalopod, Podchaser, Podbean. We're on all of those places and more it really helps get our name out there and uh help spread the word it really does maybe you could shave a review into a monkey <laughs> is that legal don't do that don't do that <laughs> because it's, it's it's cruel cutting hair is really difficult yeah you have to go to school to learn how to do it and you do <laughs> don't do that but just just leave us a review yeah. just go into an app and write one yeah do that <laughs> that'll probably work better just rate us five stars cool yeah and that's it uh, that's the end of the season i haven't got a film to tell you to go and watch and there's not gonna be any episodes next week so take a week off yourselves go and enjoy your life for a week yeah then... the sun will come out tomorrow <laughs> we will pick a uh the first movie of season seven uh in one of our i assume during e episodes during the box because ceremony i yeah. imagine that'll get picked sounds good to me cool so yeah get, have yourselves a week off then we'll be back a week on Monday with the wildcard winners episode. There'll be some Netflix newsy stuff in yeah, there yeah. as well. And then a week on Thursday will be the Botskers, third annual Botskers ceremony. 
I will get my tux pressed. Can't wait. Only the top half. Only the bottom half. Okay. Because we've only got one tux between <laughs> us. Can I wear the top half this year? I will wear you wear the top half. Yep. On your legs. Okay, deal. And you wear the bottom half on your body. Deal. Deal. Thanks everybody. Cheers. Love you. Bye.